Welcome to another day and another episode of ByteBlocks Learning Center, where we talk everything technology. This is your host, Naveen. Before I go into today's topic, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Today, I am going to talk about uh, how do we add the client side libraries, client side packages to our .NET project. When I say client side packages, I'm not talking about the assemblies uh, or the packages which are available through the Nugget packages. I'm talking about your JavaScript files. I'm talking about your CSS files. I'm talking about images. I'm talking about icons. In the older .NET projects, or in the and in the earlier versions of Visual Studio, when you needed to add a package like Bootstrap, when you needed to add a package like jQuery, you will go to the project and do it through Nugget packages. Now, when you try to do so, you will come across a little message there deprecated when you try to add Nugget packages. So, for today's talk, what I, I'm working on a new blog engine at the moment. So, I created a very simple, a plain and simple project. And as you can see from the screen, it is a very, very plain blank screen with a bunch of text on it. What I want to do is I want to spice it up by adding some icons to it. My package of choice is always using Font Awesome. Un until I have some icon which is very custom for which I may need some image, but I can always find 99% of my icons on Font Awesome. So let's get started. How does our project look? I'm just so when you create a project uh, in Visual Studio for for .NET Core, what you end up is with the little folder called WW root. In this folder, you will see three subfolders by default: CSS, which contain all the style sheets; JavaScript, which has all the JavaScripts that you need; and you see a folder called lib. This is the folder that contains the packages from other vendors. Uh, the CSS folder it contains just a very uh, all the files that you will need uh, for your custom implementation. Same thing for under JS, you see all the files that are custom to you, and under lib, you see the, by default it has added Bootstrap, jQuery packages in there. Now what I want to do is I want to add Nugget pack, Font Awesome to my project. Let's try the old way of doing it and see what happens gonna say is manage nugget packages now I'm gonna search for font awesome see right there I did find font awesome but there is a little text in there which says incompatible use Bower instead uh, there is a problem here now um, if you go to Bower, you will find that Bower has been deprecated, and they are encouraging people to use uh, other options, or other package managers. Luckily, what Microsoft has done is they are providing support support for libman out of the box. But when you create a new project, you don't see anything which says libman. Even though you are seeing a file here called libman.json, it is not there by default what you will have to do is you will have to right click on your project like I did in the add option you will find a little option called client side library when you click on it it if libman.json file is not present in your project it gets added now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can find my font awesome package here. I'm gonna say client side library. You get to choose the provider. I'm just gonna go with CD and JS. I'm gonna type font and you can see font awesome showed up in my list. It's showing up current version of 5.15.3. You have an option to include all library files, choose specific files, and you have the option of picking your target location as well. 
for sake of simplicity, I'm going to say include all the libraries and I am going to say install it. You can see the progress right here in the output folder. What it is doing, it, it is downloading the files. Since I chose the option of installing all the files, it included a lot of files. So you can see uh, there's a new folder called Font Awesome here. Uh, it has its own folders. If you are not you're not going to include everything that is offered by a vendor's package you can choose the option of not choosing all the files because if your project is in a source control you will end up increasing the storage usage as well so it's up to you what you do so now I have my font awesome here what I'm gonna do is see if it really works I'm gonna go to my layout page first thing first I have to in include the files reference I'm gonna say is let's add the reference to my style sheet and now you see next I have to provide the path since I chose the target path of you can see it automatically is filling up lip it automatically fills on awesome and I'm gonna say I need my files and instead of picking individual options of the style sheet I'm just gonna say include everything that I need that is a prerequisite of using font awesome next thing I want to do is I also want for the SVG support I am going to need the JavaScript for it same thing we're gonna do we're gonna add the source font awesome JavaScript and again I'm gonna say just give me all what what you have next what I'm gonna do is add the icon let's see where we're gonna add it so since we have here let's see I'm just gonna say let's add right there so you can see that now I'm gonna say give me home and we can be all set I don't see any errors or any indication that I'm missing any icon here let's see if it works so you can see uh, it takes a little longer to compile my project because I am using the webpack package manager for some other type script support and here we go the page is loading up and let's see if our icon worked there we go you can see that the font awesome icon for the home icon has appeared in the default color of black so that is all that you will need to add any client side libraries to your dotnet project in visual studio 2019 and if you want to see more about uh, libman support microsoft does have a documentation you can go to their do the docs where there you will find under the web apps libman and they do describe different kind of options you got uh, before i close our discussion let me see what we what our libman file looks like you can see it modified and it added my found awesome library here and it has a destination in there so that is all that you will need to add your client side library by using the libman support uh, the one that microsoft provides out of the box in visual studio uh, keep again you will, if you will try to do it through nugget package manager you will see the message that it is incompatible it is not supported yes like at the start I said it does say use Bower but that has been deprecated so what you will be using is your libman that is all to it in today's topic uh, if you liked it do press like on this video and again subscribe to our channel till next time stay healthy bye bye